Today, DoorDash, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they broke went, my heart, I, man. went IPO today, and I was telling people, don't buy it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan of DoorDash. I'm not a fan of that business model. And I was encouraging people not to buy it. And so let me show you what happened with DoorDash. Let me scroll on down here on my list. These private IPOs are killing me, man. Exactly. That See, Larry know exactly where I'm going with DoorDash. So ladies and gentlemen, this is DoorDash, right? The private, the private IPO price for DoorDash was 102. So if you got in with private yeah. money, you got it for 102. But the minute they launched it for retail investors, that bitch went up to like what was 182? Somewhere, let's see. It went on. It was one. one it was 163.81. That's when it went live. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, no, no. I don't know when DoorDash is going to ever turn a profit. I can't see a profit coming with DoorDash anytime soon. Um, a lot of people sold a lot of stock today. The NASDAQ went completely red. And a lot of people yeah. sold stock. And I'm assuming they pumped it into DoorDash. And ladies and gentlemen, they said one of their private investors was SoftBank. SoftBank walked away with $5 billion, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever they have these IPOs and they give you, they put up the private equity price and then you see the price shoot up, just wait. Don't even buy it. Because yeah. all that's happening is everybody that got in on the private equity price is just taking all the retailers' money. So I mean, like, you so can get in. You can get in early if you get like when they have those things. If you get in at like the moment it goes live, and then you sell it like about an hour or two later, you can make some good money because it's gonna shoot up, and then it's gonna drop, and then it's gonna start to level out. It didn't but do that with this one, Larry. This one went. This one, the minute it started trading, went to one eighty two. And it stayed at the highest it maxed out was 191. And then two hours later, it dropped down to 179. Yeah. You know, and we've got. Um, well, that's Airbnb. what I mean. If you would have got in, if you would have got in at 163, right at opening, if you would have got in right at 163 when it went live, you could have sold it when it got up to that 192 or something and then got out and you could have made the money. It didn't open at 163. It opened at 183. I thought it said, no, it opened at 163. No, 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 no. No, no, it go came, back. It came in at 180 something. Mm -mm. 163 it opened. Uh, well, that's not true. Can you see my screen? I can. It's showing 163 at 11 o'clock, and the stock didn't go online until that time 1240 it's short okay and i was watching it on ms i mean on cnbc and the first sale was 180 was this number right here no it wasn't that it was 183 okay all right and, and I, mean, I, was, I, was, I was disappointed because i was hoping to get in on it but I, really? I, I mean, I they were they were talking about they were gonna they're supposed to start trading at like seventy five dollars a share, and when I right. went and, right. and at a hundred and some dollars, I was like that was way more than I wanted to to spend on that. I because all the stuff that you have been talking about with DoorDash, it still holds true. They haven't made a profit. They don't know when they're gonna make a profit. The 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 surge of of sales that they've had, and you know. Over the last, you know, eight months or so during the pandemic, they they have already said they don't believe they can sustain that because nope. eventually their vaccine is going to come and restaurants are going to open back up and people are going to go back out to eat. So exactly. it, it, they're not sure when they're going to make a profit or if they will. You know, they're going to they're going to have to diversify their business model. They're going to have to. I, I've yeah. heard I heard behind closed doors they're trying to partner up with an autonomous driving SPAC. Um, mm. if they do that, that might work out for them. But just as the business model is right now, nah. Mm -mm. And one last thing I want to show people, Larry, for those of you that want to know about two hot stocks that I did mention to Larry and I mentioned to all my email and, and Instagram people, I did some homework on these two stocks on the bottom. 
Liquidity Services, and Stitch Effect. Stitch Effect. So let me check, jump on in here. And I bought them today. I bought 100 shares today of both. And this is Stitch Effect. And I bought in at 52.23 a share. You see, I made $405 today. And I'm probably going nice. to get out maybe tomorrow. But the foundation of this stock is red hot. It's great. The numbers are great. This is one you can buy and hold long term. And the other one, I'm even bigger on that one for a long term hold because the numbers on this other one is better, even though the stock is not um, as expensive. Liquidity services. Let me click on this one, then we'll be done with this. What in the world? Okay, here we go. So liquidity services. I jumped in on them today at 15.22, and I've made $57 today. And you see they went up a little bit. But yeah. if you just look at what they've done in the last week, they went up six. Last month, they went up six. Three months, they've gone up eight. You see they constantly... They are a slow burn of income to be made, ladies and gentlemen. And they are resurging because they work with e-commerce solutions and they work about kind of like FinTech, basically a financial solution for online businesses. And we know that is going to continue to grow. That's not going to stop. Every time you think about somebody on YouTube, think about their pipeline. They're probably doing online business, online funding with someone and this is a company that's going to be in that area. So those are my stock recommendations for you all to um, get involved with this week. And the only options I did, I, these three calls right here, I got Riot, Blockchain, I got Stamps, and I did a Tesla call. And um, I'm going to win all of them because Tesla had my account at 190000 And then their ass going to tank this afternoon and brought it back <laughs> down nine grand. So goodbye. But those are my recommendations for the people out there that's following us and keeping up with the stocks and the options and everything that's coming out that's going to be brand new. Jump on it, my people. Make that money.